I have another friend who's an astrologer who looks at the way she explains it is the astrology chart is a weather forecast. Yeah. And, that's beautiful. you know, that's something I've been trying to kind of keep more in mind as well. You know, what is that framework? How do, you know, do I need my raincoat or do I need, you know, <laughs> my boots? Um, and also learning to kind of release the expectation of what it's going to look like as we were talking before we recorded, you know, you foresaw something in my chart about me getting busy. And I was like, oh yes, it's going to be getting busy in the way I want it to be. And it, it has totally taken a left turn on me in the way I'm sure it's supposed to. <laughs> I'm yeah. definitely busy, just not the way I had hoped to be. And that's okay too. It's recognizing, okay, this is just leading me further on a path that yeah. you know um and that's the, one of the fun things you know in learning and trusting what comes through in an astrology chart um yeah, yeah. one thing about well both evolutionary astrology and esoteric astrology is that where i like to look is what what can i learn and what is the real opportunity that i have here and yes there is there is the gloom and doom and, you know, you're going to be busy. It might not be in this. I don't go there. I am all about what can we learn? How, what is the energy that I can bring in with this framework? And how can I evolve more, grow more, enlighten more? All of the things that are really about allowing spirit to work through us. 